Fifth grade, chapter 11, lesson 9, volume of rectangular prisms. The base of a rectangular prism is a rectangle. You know that area is measured in square units or units squared, and that the area of a rectangle can be found by multiplying the length and the width. Volume is measured in cubic units or units cubed. When you build a, a prism and add each layer of cubes, you are adding a third dimension, height. The area of the base is 10, 12, 12. How many do we have going across? Three. And then um, the other side, four. So three times four is 12. Unlock the problem. Since build the rectangular prism shown at the right using one inch cubes. The prism has a base that is a rectangle and has a height of four cubes. What is the volume of the rectangular prism? You can find the volume of a prism in cubic units by multiplying the number of square units in the base shaped by the number of layers, or its height. Each layer of the rectangular prism is composed of how many guys? How many cubes? Twelve, twelve inch cubes. So for the first layer, there'd be twelve cubes. For the second layer, there'd be twenty-four. For the third layer, there'd be thirty-six. And for the fourth layer, there'd be forty-eight. Because we multiplied the height by 12. 12. How does the volume change as each layer is added? So we said the volume increases by 12 as each layer is added. Number two, what does the number you multiply the height by represent? This number represents the area of the base or the number of cubes in each layer. So the volume of this rectangular prism is 48 inches cubed. Relate height to volume. Tony stacks cubed. Cube shaped beads that measure one centimeter on each edge in a storage box. The box can hold six layers of 24 cubes with no gaps or overlaps. What is the volume of Tony's storage box? So, what are the dimensions of the base of the box? Six by one by 24. Mm -hmm. Six by four? Right. Four centimeters by six centimeters. And how did he? How did we get that? Because uh, there's six. Uh, well, we know there's 24 cubes in each layer, right, guys? Okay, and then so 24 divided by 6 equals 4. Okay, so what operation can you use to find the area of the base shape? So we're going to do add, subtract, multiply, or divide? Multiply. Multiply, so multiplication. One way, use base, base and height. The volume of each bead is what? Is one centimeter cubed. The storage box has a base with an area of? 24, 24 centimeters cubed. Is it cubed? No, 24 centimeters squared because it is um, the base, right? Or the area of the base. So the height of the storage box is? Six. six centimeters. So the volume of the storage box is 24, 24 times 6. 4 times 6 is? 450. It's 4. Mentally carry the 2. 6 times 2 is? 12. Plus 2 is? 14. 14. So 144 centimeters cubed. Another way is length times width times height. So you know the area of the base of the storage box is 24 centimeters squared. The base has a length of, how many did we say? No, six, six and a width of four. four centimeters. The height is six centimeters. six centimeters. The volume of the storage box is, so you could do, what can we do? Six, six times four times six. Right. So you could, in some instances, hook a couple of words together that you know are real easy, right? So if you had five and five, you can make that the 25, right? Okay? Or 24 times 6 equals 144 centimeters squared. So the volume of the storage box is 144 centimeters Number three, what if each cube shaped bead measured two centimeters on each edge? How would the dimensions on the storage box change? How would the volume change? The dimensions would be twice as long. So, 
it would be 8 centimeters by 12 centimeters by 12 centimeters. So the volume would be 8 times as much because we took the 2 times the 2 times the 2 since each of them raised twice as much. So then we said 144 times 8 equals 1,152 centimeters cubed. And then that is 144 times 8. Or if you took 1,152 divided by 144. Share and show. Find the volume. The length of the rectangular prism is? Four the length. What's the length? Four, two, five. Okay, we can go ahead and say four. That's fine. Then the width is five. five. So the area of the base is twenty. 20. The height is six. six. So the volume is. So we take twenty times six, right, and get one hundred twenty. One hundred twenty. Now. I want you guys to write your formulas, okay? So for number two, what is what would our formula be? Volume equals length times width times height. Volume equals six times two times three times three. Volume equals six times three, which equals centimeters. Cube. If you do not have the volume or the formula, and if you do not have a label, will you get it correct? No. You can put cubic centimeters as well, but somewhere it has to say that it's cubed, basically. Okay. All right. Number three. Volume, volume equals length times width times height. Volume equals Two times six times one. Volume equals twelve times one. Volume equals twelve inches. Twelve inches cubed or twelve cubic inches. Okay, so you guys will do on your own with your partners. Unlock the problem. Rich is building a child crate for his dog, Thomas, a beagle. Mixed is about 30 inches long, 12 inches wide, and 24 inches tall. For Thomas to travel safely, his crate needs to be a rectangular prism that is about 12 inches greater than its length and width, and 6 inches greater than its height. What is the volume of the travel crate that Rich should build? What do you need to find to solve the problem? The volume of the travel crate that Rich should build. Letter B. How can you use Thomas's size to help you solve the problem? We will use his size and add on the extra dimensions to make the crate large enough. Letter C. What steps can you use to find the size of Thomas's crate? We would add 30 plus 12, which equals 42, then 12 plus 12, which equals 24, and 24 plus 6, which equals 30. Then multiply 42 times 24 by 30 to get our answer. Letter D. Fill in the blanks in the dimensions of the dog crate. The length is 42 inches. The width is 24 inches. And the height is 24 inches. The area of the base is, so over here to the side, we took 42 times 24, and we got 1,008. So it would be 1,008 inches squared. Then over here, we find we need to find the volume, and we took 1,008 times 30, and we got 30,240 inches cubed. So Rich should build a travel crate for Thomas that has a volume of 30,240 in cubic inches, or inches cubed. What is the volume of the rectangular prism at the right? So what's my formula? And then volume equals 5 times 7 times 5. And then volume equals, what would be a good thing to put together? 45 times 7 times 5. 5 and 5, because that's 25 times 7. How much is 7 quarters? $1.75, which converts to 175, right? So letter B. 